Hi there and welcome to another Light Rider Tips video and today I want to talk to you about Ableton Link and Tractor. So in Tractor the first thing we're going to need to be able to see is the master clock and on the top left of the screen you'll see a little metronome symbol. If you click that you'll then see a Tractor's master clock which you may well be different to any of the track decks that you currently got loaded within Tractor itself. You're likely to have both a master and auto selected and if you haven't then you can just click them to enable them now. Now what's happening right here is that the master clock within Tractor as you can see on screen is set to 120 and I've got two tracks loaded in decks A and B uh, both at 127 BPM. On my iPad you'll be able to see in a moment that that's currently set to tap mode uh, with a BPM showing of 125. So if I start deck A playing that's going to play at 127 BPM. Okay, and you'll notice that Tractor's master clock has then automatically been set to 127 because the auto uh, function has been enabled. I can, uh, if I want to play track deck B um, and I want to make sure that they stay perfectly in sync, um, I can simply go and cheat, hit the sync button, and start the track deck playing as well. And that will uh, automatically play at the, the same BPM as deck A. Okay, and if I adjust the tempo of deck A, uh, you'll see that the tempo of deck B uh, is set uh, to match and the track, uh, tractor's master clock uh, follows suit and is set to 126. Okay, now here's the thing, right, I'm going to just stop both decks playing now and I'm going to just reset them to the beginning. Okay, so they're both set to 127, uh, deck A and deck B, um, and Tractor's master, uh, master clock is also set to 127. Now, uh, to be able to use Ableton Link, uh, your laptop running Tractor and your iPad running Lightrider must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Today I'm using the Lightrider LR512 um, Wi-Fi DMX interface and both my iPad and laptop are connected to the, that Wi-Fi network. What I'm going to do now is head to the top of the screen within Tractor and click link and you'll notice a couple of things happen. So first off um, the one the button has changed to say one link uh, and you would have noticed on the Light Rider screen that a small kind of teal bar appeared at the top to tell you that an Ableton link um, had been established uh, and the the link um, icon is now showing up uh, at the top right hand side of the light rider screen showing you that it's now being uh, mastered by an Ableton link master. Uh, if you look on the the screen in Tractor you'll see that the master tempo is set to 125 um, and that is the master tempo that's been shown on light rider. If I double click that tempo I can change that to 120 just type in 120 press the enter key and you'll see that Light Rider on my iPad responds accordingly. However you will also notice that the tracks playing on deck A and B uh, haven't uh, necessarily changed. In fact deck B has changed because I've automatically synced that to the master tempo. Okay if I if I remove uh, at sync so that decks A and B are running independently. Uh, this is where it all gets a little bit unusual and this is the bit that we can need to explain and understand. So if I play the track deck A uh, with sync disabled it will play at 127 BPM which is the uh, the original tempo of that particular track. Okay, But Tractor's master clock is still set at 120 uh, so therefore Light Rider uh, is currently receiving kind of an Ableton link tempo of 120 BPM, which is kind of odd because that's not the tempo of the track being played. And that's just a, a feature, if you like, or rather an unfortunate feature of the way Tractor and Ableton Link works. So basically what happened, what is happening is that uh, Tractor decides that its internal uh, clock is 120, um, but it will quite happily allow you to play tracks on uh, decks A, B, C or D at any other tempo you like and it will not sync the two. The only time that they will sync uh, 
if I stop the deck playing is if you actually hit the sync buttons. If I hit uh, sync on deck A and sync on deck B, you'll now notice that the decks um, have automatically synced to the master clock of 120 BPM. And if I change the master clock at the top to be, say, 132, just go a little bit above, okay, I'm going to hit enter, and you'll see that both decks A and B uh, then switch to 132 BPM, which is fine if that's how you want to play your tracks, but generally speaking, that's not how I work. Uh, most of the time I want uh, to play uh, the tracks um, at their original BPM or thereabouts within kind of one or two percent. I don't want to constantly be syncing tracks to uh, Tractor's master clock. So personally, I don't find uh, Tractor and uh, its master clock uh, particularly well suited for uh, use with Ableton Link and Light Rider, because as I said, you can you, if you want to change the tempo, you have to change uh, for Light Rider. You've got to change the tempo of the master clock, um, and, and I just don't think that works particularly well. So I'm going to go and reset these two decks, and I'll show you what I mean just one more time. So I'm going to start deck A playing, start deck B playing. Uh, and then if I want them to be uh, the uh, to play at their original tempo, I can't use the, uh, the, the tempo faders, the pitch faders on uh, the decks. I couldn't use them on my controller. I would have to go up to the master clock and type in a value of 127, which would then make the tracks play at the right speed. And you'll notice that it makes the track deck, uh, sorry, the tempo on Light Rider match. So overall, um, interesting feature, I guess, uh, not entirely useful because it just doesn't work the way uh, that I use Tractor when I'm out playing at, at the gigs that I play. Okay, so I hope you found that uh, useful or informative, um, even if not ultimately particularly useful. Um, but that is a feature I'm afraid of Tractor, it's not a feature of Light Rider. Uh, so if you've got any questions, then as usual, head over to the Light Rider Help and Support uh, Facebook group, uh, where there are several of us um, always usually available to help, um, or you can leave a comment here on the video. Uh, if you like these videos, then please do subscribe, and then of course you'll receive notifications uh, of any new videos that I post. But that's it for now, so thank you very much.